G'day guys, Walter here, uh, and today uh, I thought we would do a video about driving around in Australia and maybe about learning some things while on the roads in Australia. Our career is a little bit different, um, so I've actually asked a few of my friends to help me out with this video today. So uh, let's go pick them up. Hey, hey, Walter! What's up? So, the concept of this video um, is that we're going to compare uh, Australian driving to yeah. Korean driving. Now, the reason why I want you in the front, Marty, is because you drive, right? Yeah, I do. So, what do you think is the biggest difference between Korean driving and driving in Australia? Oh, it's a driving side. Driving side? Yeah, where, where your seat is. Mm. And the direction. Like I, I drive in Korea as well, and Are like you? yeah, I've got a, li a driver's license in Korea. Okay. Like, did you get it done in Korea, or did you transfer it? So what I yeah I had to transfer it. I think that's why you did as well. So I had I had to go through all the yeah. tests. You had to take in a test. Australia. Yeah. What yeah. kind of test did you have to take? For for Australia. Yeah, for Australia uh, driver's license. So I was using my international driver's license. Yeah for a few years and then police caught me on the road. Okay, yep. <laughs> Check my license and then they said uh, you should get an open license for Australian. Because uh, I've been there for long, they can't, can't really keep the international license. Right, right. For the long term. Right. But at the moment, the Australian government doesn't allow to the driver's license transfer. transfer. Okay. So I had to go through the test, but I failed five times. What like was it like a driving test? Like yeah, yeah, it's like a practical test. You said you're driving on the road. So like it was almost like doing like a learner's test again, right? Pretty much. And pretty you said much. you failed five times. Oh man. What what was um what did you fail? Like what parts? Australian driver's law is a uh, pretty strict. Yeah. That it is like so much detailed. Yeah. And so complicated for me. Right, right. And so many one ways. Yeah, true. Which is annoying. So, that, like, that's something that uh, some people have trouble adjusting to, especially in uh, coming to Australia. In, in Korea, sure. I think the biggest difference for me was, like, how narrow the, the roads oh, were. Oh, true. Yeah. Yeah. It's really, really small, right? So narrow. And, like, parking um, is extremely Horrible. difficult. Well, like, it's yeah. not easy here either. Yeah, but, but you don't get ticket much. Yeah, in right. In Korea. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, do you prefer like do you prefer driving in Australia or? Uh, I do prefer driving in Australia. So when you when you first came to Australia, was it um, difficult to adjust to the other side? Mm, yeah, for a few times on the first time, mm. but you you get the just right. You get used to it very quick, like several days after you just get used. To it. Yeah, right. Like when I went to Korea, I um I noticed that. Like, for the first few uh, days that I started driving, it was really difficult. Like, when I turned, like, I'd go too far. Like, when I turned right or... Oh. And then I'd yeah, be, like, in the other lane. Attached, oh. like. So, how about, like, roundabouts? Did you ever have problems with, like, roundabouts? I heard a few it's Koreans... It's still like, confusing. I was arguing with Maxine the other day about... <laughs> yeah. When the roundabout had two lanes, yep. where, which lane you take off? Like, uh, which lane you want to go in? Right. Because that's also yeah. really, that's really confusing actually. Because it depends on which exit um, you want to take. You are heading to. Right, right. Yeah. The, the two lane um, roundabouts. The roundabouts. They're really confusing. Yeah. Even, like for even you, for me, even for me. Like, <laughs> oh really? I, it's just like, especially if you don't know the area very well, it can yeah. get confusing. But like, if you're in the left, like if you're in the left lane, you you'll always take. Um, the, the the exit, the closest exit, yeah. right? Yeah. If you're in the right lane, but like there's like dotted lines that can yeah. sometimes veer off to the left as well. Yeah. Um, that's also okay, but the left lane has to exit. Yeah. Um, one things, uh, some things I noticed as well, like driving in Korea, is like when someone lets you in, like yeah. someone gives way to you. Yeah. Um, they uh they flash their like um. Yeah, the hazard the lights. Hazard lights, right? Yeah. Right, right, right. But, but like, um, 
in Korea, uh, in Australia. It's, you don't use it at all. You don't use it at all, right? Nah, you so, just raise your hand. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so true, people true. like wave their hands yeah. and um, like I think um, compare especially in Seoul. Seoul is such a a, a terrible area to drive in because there's so many cars yeah. and um, people don't really like to give way to you. Not really. Mm. You really need to give your attention to them. Yeah, right, right. And be really nice. What I also notice as well is like in Australia, like um, people like like let you go, like they wave you in. Yeah. Like if like I'm here and like they'll they'll help me, they'll almost guide me. Maxine, have you, are you got your like learners? I'm um, still on my learners, learners, yeah. How long have you been on your learners for? <laughs> like, like <laughs> nearly two years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like should be ready now. Have but. you taken any lessons? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. So like I'm like almost ready mm -hmm. to take peer test, mm -hmm. but like I just been lazy and you know just keep <laughs> delaying it. But yeah, like I probably just need a, another like you know couple lessons probably mm -hmm. before I um, take my peer test and then. Thing, I'll be fine. That's also <laughs> something different, right, compared to um, Korea, right? Like, we have P plates. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, what L does plates P well. means? Like, is that. It uh, means provisional plates. Provisional. Um, so, you're under. I believe the law is something like for the first year, I think you're on green. Is it green peas? I think green's first. Green peas. Oh, is it red, red first or green first? I can't remember. Uh, uh, it's neither. one of them. Yeah, you also have to like uh, drive with the L plate yeah. as well when you're learning. Yeah. So that's also quite different as well. Yeah. But good thing about my age though, so mm. um, if you're over 25, yeah. Yeah. you can take one of the P's. Oh really? Oh, really? Yeah. So that's what I'm doing now. So I don't, and also you don't have to do that 100 hours. Of oh really? Time. Yeah. That's already over anyway. Yeah. How many hours <laughs> do you have to do in total? In total? Like, you mean like under 25 or up? Like, uh, like if you're uh, like over 25, how many hours? Oh, you don't have to do any hours. Oh, really? But like, you as know, technically, she's ready, she once you test. practice, then you probably do like, you know, a few really? hours anyway. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but if you, yeah, actually, even if you're um, over 25, but mm. you still have to hold your learner's license for one year. Okay, yeah. Yeah. But like, like it doesn't require any hours, which means that you probably don't have to drive at all for that one hour, uh, one, one year. Oh, really? You can, yeah, yeah, you just have to hold it. Um. That's also something different, like in Korea, uh, even though it's illegal, many Koreans like drive real past the speed limit, right? Yeah. And um, like when they see a speed camera, then they slow down for the speed camera. <laughs> yeah. And then they drive really fast again. Yeah. So, but like in Australia, it's really strict rules, right, with the, the, with the speed limit. Have you yeah. ever got a ticket before? Oh man, so many times, so <laughs> many times. He's so bad, he always forced me to drive um, over the limit. Oh really? Yeah, he always no, forced me. I, really like, I don't want to. You did. But I know where the cameras are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but like there was, there's always like the um, the hidden cameras as well these days, yeah? That's the key. Yeah. You need to know where the hidden cameras. There's a new app anyway, which oh, really? is telling you where the yeah. hidden cameras. It's what is the app? That's uh, all Tom Tom still, but that's a phone version. Ah, okay. People driving past when they see the cameras, they just click on the screen and then oh, okay. people, are, uh, the company is recording the all the data and they, they put the camera, some sort of like little icon icons yeah, yeah, yeah. on the road and then you just need to be careful. Ah, oh, so you are pay a little more to get more information. In Korea, do you think people are still allowed to play on their phone when they're driving? Like, oh, I believe so. Oh yeah, but no. in Australia, in, in both countries, they are going really strict about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. it causes so many accidents. Right, and but like I believe like in Australia now it's like zero. Like you can't even have it in your lap. Like, no, yeah. no, no, no. Oh, really? It has yeah, to be yeah. on a it has to dock. be hands free, right? Yeah. And um, like you, you can't have it on. Like you can you can speak with Bluetooth, but I just yeah. don't think you can. Um, I think if you on learners, you can't. You're not even allowed to speak on Bluetooth. Either. Oh really?
I think、um, Mari said like last time. <clears throat> You know, like how in common sense you have to indicate oh, yeah, yeah. when you when you want to take over. Yeah. yeah. But then in, in Australia or in anywhere, pretty much. But、mm. then in Korea, actually, if you want to take over, then、mm. you shouldn't indicate because they won't let you in then because they know <laughs> that you you try to get in. Did I, did、yeah. I say it like that? <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> it's it's all about it's the timing. Yeah, yeah. When you decide it, yeah, you are giving a signal. Yeah. When you are actually getting in. No, really. So. It's more like、um, 내가 가고 있다는 사실을 알려주는 거지. Right. 그러니까. Probably it wasn't、어, you then. Like someone else told me probably. Yeah. But I, I drive very differently. Yeah. Okay. So are you more aggressive in in Korea? Do you think? No. I actually try to be really gentle. So if、yeah. someone doesn't let me in, I just keep waiting and then. Right. 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 Probably someone behind me will give a hold to me anyway. Have you guys learned any sort of like Australian slang in regards to、um, driving? Oh, Yui. <laughs> Chucky Yui. Have you ever used Chucky Yui? No, I, I don't know what Chucky is. But Chucky、like、Yui is just to do. Like when、uh, Chucky is like throwing. Oh,、yeah, Chucky Yui. Okay. Yeah. 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 Chuck originally means throw. Yeah. So Chucky Yui is a very common one in、uh, in Australia. Yeah. How about、um, do you know what driver's arm is?、Ooh. Driver's arm? Yeah. No, not really. Yeah, we've got some police here yeah, yeah, yeah. setting up a roadblock. <coughs> yeah, that's probably going to be an RBT. Yeah,、um, RBT. Well, a driver's arm is where you like because Australia's so hot, and then you put your arm out, you get like a tanned、ah, arm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but like the, your left arm is fine,、yeah. but your right arm is yeah, tanned. Yeah, yeah. So we call that a, a driver's arm. Driver's、oh. arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or trucky. I believe it's called a trucky arm as well. Trucky, trucky arm. arm. Yeah. Trucky, trucky arm. Because they always drive with their arm out. Yeah. yeah. Oh, if I say if someone says, "Oh, he's up my ass," what do you think、yeah. that means? Is it my fault? No. He's actually following up me really close. Right, right.、Yeah. If some guy is up my ass, like he's really close, like to the back of me. Oh.、Yeah. So like he's tailgating. Like they really use the horn a lot, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, that's the thing. Every bloody yeah, yeah. 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 everything. Yeah. Just in like every situation. But、yeah. in Australia, it's not. It's definitely not as much, right? Yeah. yeah. That's actually against the law. If you not, if you horn, honk the horn. If you honk to horn when it's not ne- when it's not necessary, right? They actually can get fined. Oh really? Yeah. yeah apparently. I've heard of it as well.、Oh, okay.、Yeah. Oh, there's another thing that I was always confused about.、Um, in Korea. If the if the light is red, sometimes you can still continue and turn right. Or that's actually、left. yeah, so different. Yeah, yeah. So like in Australia, you, you the have lights, to stop. Yeah, you have to stop. And、um, like if there's no red arrow,、yeah. you can go. But like、yeah. if there's a red arrow, you, you can, can turn right. Yeah, yeah. You you have to stop. So in Korean, they call it people who wuhejun. Right. So you're not protected, but you can turn right. Ah, okay. Any situation, if it if the road is empty. Yeah. But, but in Australia, you can't do. <coughs> so you are opposite. So the, you, there's no people who try try to turn. Sometimes they do it when, when they make a separate lane. Right, right. But in like this road, that you you can't really turn left without the signal. Right. So I was so used to it. So、mm. in Korea, I just stop. Yeah, Even yeah. if I can turn right, yeah, right, right. <laughs> Then the people behind me honing me like, hey, go away,、yeah. hey, go, go, and、that's、I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> right, that's the same thing with me. Like I was, like I'm so used to like not turning right in that sort of situation, but like、yeah. I have like everyone behind me like just honking their horn、yeah. at me, and it would like stress me out so much. It was, it's actually quite stressing. Yeah, yeah. Also in, um, I learned this actually from Ted. Uh, in Korea, if the police pull you over, yeah. yeah, you can get out of the car, right? You sh- like some people get out of the car. Ted, did Ted ever tell you, you the story? You can.、Um, I don't think you can. Ah,、uh, t- Ted was telling me when he was living in America、yeah. that he、um, he went 
uh, he was driving <clears throat> And the cops pulled him over, yeah. and he got out of the car, and oh, that's like man. a really big, like, oh, yeah, dude, yeah. Okay. He's he, gonna pull him down. He he told me, I, I you'll have to ask him, but he told me that like they drew he, their weapon on him, like yeah. they 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 pointed a gun at him yeah. to oh stay God. in the car. They so, take it as an aggressive uh, act. Action. Right, right. Oh. It's like it's an aggressive act. So therefore, um, like they. they <laughs> Get really sort of protective, which they should, I guess, but like... Yeah, I think it's the same in Australia too. They're yeah. more gentle, but... So, if you get pulled over by the police, don't get out. I can think of one more thing, actually. What? So, um, in Korea, uh, no, in Australia, mm. when you see, like when you're driving, when you see people crossing, mm. 100% you have to stop, you have to wait until right. they actually complete complete this cross. Right, but in right. Korea, the pedestrian have to wait. <laughs> <laughs> they have to wait <laughs> until right. the car stops. Right, it right. It will never end. Yeah. The car wouldn't stop anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And with the stop signs, like you have to stop. Like, yeah. if, like, like, I remember when I did the test, one of the biggest warnings I got was at the stop sign, even if you slow down to almost stopping, if yeah. you don't stop, you fail your test. You yeah, fail. of course. Yeah. I yeah. failed That's, on that yeah. one too. <laughs> That's critical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many points does the Australian license have? Demerit points, you mean? Demerit points, yeah. Uh, I think it's uh, limited to 10. Okay. I mean, the, you, you, you have 10? Yeah. 15? <laughs> oh, I can't remember. Pro probably it's 10. What are you up to now? I didn't lose any. <laughs> oh yeah. Luckily. <laughs> if you're a foreigner, you only have like four demerit points, oh. which is uh, you can lose it one time, at once. When I was living in Australia, I basically was like one point for like one year because I just kept getting caught for speeding. Oh uh, yeah, speeding. It's just like, and the, I wasn't like recklessly speeding, it was just because I wasn't thinking. <laughs> and so the next thing you know, you see this Young flash. Driver. Yeah, yeah, and um, uh, yeah, I oh, I also did an illegal U-turn as well. So uh, that's that's also a big, pretty big. Like, have you guys lived anywhere else in Australia? No. No. Always no. Brisbane. Yeah. But you've travelled to Sydney and Melbourne? Yeah. Of course. Which, like, do you prefer Brisbane? Uh, to leave, yeah. I do, personally. Yeah, Why? Sydney is way too big for me. How do you think? Yeah, too busy. Too many cars. Yeah. Mm. yeah too, too competitive. Big, too city. It's like, when yeah, people ask me about well. Sydney, I say it's like, basically it's like Seoul, but just yeah, Australia. Exactly, yeah, Yeah. But, um, how about <laughs> Melbourne? Melbourne's more like it's still a big city and busier, it's like busier than Brisbane yeah. as well. Like it here. The weather is so much better than anywhere else, like in yeah. Brisbane. Yeah. yeah, honestly, the weather Brisbane it's is the thing. best. Oh. You need to put that on. Yeah. <laughs> weather in Brisbane yeah. is the best. In the world, I, I, I in can the world, it. pretty much. <laughs> I've never Winter been anywhere. Winter is the most beautiful city yeah. I've ever seen. Man, it doesn't get too humid or too hot for you. Winter? Yeah. Winter. It's in, never been. How about summer? Summer. <laughs> it's pretty tough, but yeah. I can take it for winter. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah cause it's ne it never gets below like what's the lowest it usually gets in Brisbane? Do you think? Maybe like eight, five. seven. Yeah, five. Exactly. yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. So guys, that concludes today's video uh, for driving around Australia or around Brisbane. Um, I'd like to thank my guests, Marty hey. and Maxine. Hey. And uh, <laughs> remember to always like and subscribe, comment below on my beautiful guests today. Yeah. That's somewhere about here. Above Pro there. Probably about <laughs> there, there, there. That's a fun part. So, <laughs> and uh, like I always say guys, stay positive. Stay positive. positive. <laughs>